Hey guys, Ophia here, and uh, we are back in Final Fantasy XIV, A Crown Reborn, and as always, sir, let's play character, Mana. How's it going, Mana? So when we last left off, uh, my, I, I got, up. Uh, uh, that, wrong. I can ever manage to get these, um, venues right. Alright, Wyward reveals that the masked stranger was the first to prompt him. Friends to entertain the notion of summoning Rygar, but did not. But what? <laughs> but what did Lihabra, if it indeed it was he, hope to accomplish by putting great power in the hands of the worthy? So we got to speak to Gundubol again, and hmm, for once. We wish you well in your investigation. But that we had more information to offer, but what I told you was the extent of our knowledge of the masked stranger. Left unchecked, that man will bring a great pain and suffering. I pray that you find and put a swift end to it. for the sake of the young ones who died in his poison with his by his poison. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So now we gotta go back to Mel. Men. <laughs> Men feel. Got that problem saying Mel. Back to Horizon. I think I'm gonna set this to my free destination. I'm gonna come to What? And we will be coming back to here a lot. It is our base of operations. Hey, right, mount up. Pull out. Or pile. So yeah, I'm doing a little bit different uh, format today. I'm trying out streaming. I'm also still recording the episode, how it work. Oh, that's pretty good. I actually like it this way because Google's keeping a timer for me. <laughs> it just, it counts down how many hours I'm, or how many minutes I'm, how long this lasts. And, you know, I can probably do longer episodes if I do it this way because it's not hogging all of my computer time and rendering open this out to be that's true how's it going If Menfila has any more, long I don't think I can. Welcome back, Mana. I'm reliably informed that the rest of the investigation took you to Quarry Mill and then Little Alamigo. So tell me. Were you able to learn not of Lavar? And planted the knowledge of summoning personal young minds. Precisely the deception the Askins would employ. While many of the ills that aid land can be contributed to calamity, some are being brought about by the Megan will. We must, eh, <laughs> we must need delve deeper into this while things remain quiet on the primal front. Yes, 
Oh lord, what do you want? All work and no play makes me feel a dull sign. Uh, did you say something? Uh, no. <laughs> I guess she got mad at that. Um, mayhap we ought to rest a while before speaking further. The investigation. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Or not. Yeah, she has another lead for us. While you were tending to business in Thin Lens, some new information arrived to see if our friend. An individual fitting Le Brahe description has been cited in Northern Shroud. This slightly comes in the wake of a series of mysterious deaths in the same area. My instincts tell me that a band is involved. I would have you continue your investigation where you left off. Twelve willing will pick up Lebrahe's trail once more. Noraxia can furnish you the, the details. Pray speak to her and take and take it from here. That's, always be careful out there, man. Please do. Walking one is investigating. Sinister one, yeah. Sinister, right, uh, right word for it. Then he'd, one, he'd well this one's words. This one is friends with walking one and, and the Ash Crown Consortium. According to friend one, digging one named Medra, Medradu, I'd encountered with a scarred mask one. This one, this masked one is certainly sinister. Walking one should go and speak with the digging one. The digging one is to be found at all guards float in Northern Shrine. Warp there because I already got it. I'm gonna get him. Fetch quests. Medrod, please leave me be. I'm not not doing this. I'm not long for this world. Uh -oh. I look. I, I looked in the face. I looked death in the face. It's only a matter of time he comes for, like he came for that poor woman. He's not talking any sense. What's going on? He wanted words with Medrod. Well, as you can see, he might be tricky. That might be tricky. He's been this way near a fortnight. Almost a week, huh? If you need him to make any sense in a hurry, might be as I can give you a some advice. Though he looks a man, man grown, Medrod, Medrod still is a little boy inside. He might try feeding him a serving of lens and chestnuts, his mother's specialty. Stuff should ease in, should ease enough to find <laughs> easy enough to find a Gordania. Oh, and a few smooth soothing words would go along wouldn't go astray either. Nothing like mummy's cooking and her expert menstruant for the for skin knee, as it were. All right, so we can actually either make the items or we can actually go to, uh, we'll just, uh, there. We can actually buy them from the vendor in market board or around the market board.
Uh, it's going, it's going to be the death of me. I spent like the first hour today just uh that's not the stream it seems to do doing, doing pretty good <laughs> I'm still worried if I can't read all this stuff on the fly all right oh uh, probably not a black trainer I think it's, it's going to be the independent culinarian Anchor, Armsmender, no? Independent jeweler, tailor. Wow. Hmm. I could, find, I could buy it out of the marker board or tinker. There. No, I don't think so. That's a dies. Ah, there it is, independent color. I just look right up. Guns and chestnuts. <laughs> That's why. Right. I guess what is it like? Um. Was it like a sweet? I don't know, I'll look it up. I'd like it to be kind of sweet treat or something. <laughs> we got it. I never do a mother reader, right? Um. Oh, a stew. Oh, okay. Stew consisting of Lalafel, Lentons, and Gardenian chestnut. Oil and red sour wine. Sounds like it would have a musky flavor. Oh, what a horrible waking nightmare. And I unsee. That's what have I done? There it is. Me. Oh, wow. Here, eat that. You, you found it. This is my favorite dish in the whole world. Mom made this to me whenever I felt I fell plump and never I never even I <laughs> it never failed to make me forget. Wait a minute, you're trying to make me tell you tell you all about that, aren't you? No, no, too horrible. Do the You're right. It's not as bad as it seems. I saw something terrible. That's, but it hardly means I'm going to suffer the same fate. Thank you. I can still, I can think straight again. I believe I can recount what I saw with, without losing it. It was just another ordinary day. I was heading back to the float when I noticed a suspicious character in the distance. A masked man garbed head to toe in black. I didn't know I had a mask in. <laughs> it was hideous. It was a hideous fiend in tow. Fiend creature that was eyeball. Jagged teeth. Take, taken by curiosity, I crept near as I dare. See the corpse of a woman. One glimpse was enough to tell me that she died a gruesome death. In, the, in an instant, in, in that instant, I knew right away that Mass One was was a minion of Tal, come to claim her soul for his realm. What? You're, you're investigating the same masked man. 
if that is the case, then we will help you in whatever way we can. I, anything to ensure that he won't have to suffer, <laughs> we won't have to suffer from everyone's hysteria ever again. <laughs> All right, teamwork. I don't think teamwork was the cause of that. That was, that's what I wanted to, wait, I haven't been that bad, have I? At any rate, I'm all for helping out this adventure. At it's the least I can do to repair for bringing me the lentils and chestnuts. Well, if you didn't calm down, I would kind of take my axe and beat you over the head with it. Aladdin. Aladdin. What's that item? Editing. Al, because it's an A-L. So, here's what I know about the, the deaths. All the, victim, all the victims were found with their faces torn to shreds. Among the local fauna, only the scale kin known as the Zoo could inflict such a wound. That's why some folk are pointing the fingers at them. Somehow I doubt the answer is that simple, but for the sake of thoroughness, we should look into that. Why don't you put down, say, six of the creatures and see what you can find? Any proof of the connect them to the death? Do that. Um, are the. Oh. I was wondering what's going on now. I'm looking at the uh, the hour on the, the mini map. It's going like eight. Uh oh. My fate. There we go. Here's me. Yeah. 
this plaster. I did the other earlier this morning. I did a video and um, I forgot. I muted the um, program, so I didn't get any of the sound other than my mic. Oh man, off! You've already seen the city. The city. Good work, adventure. I'm sorry, you already seen to the city. Good work, adventure. So you were able to find not to suggest that the creatures are our culprits. Nothing. Truth be told, even if they were proof, I wouldn't know what to look, what it would look like. Uh, anyway, I believe that we can safely strike the Ziti from our list of suspects, which leave us with the masked man and winged eyeball. Hmm. I think I have an idea of where this is going. There's something else I've heard about the death. There's all the victims have come, have been, humbly maidens, which, what better watch myself, huh? Unseemly Jep Japel's side. There's a <clears throat> there's a rumor been going around. There's some at there's some that whisper that after each victim has died, the rancor went into a great big rock southwest of here, causing it to flash and moan. Kind of creepy. This bears an investigation. I reckon I'm going to give you a fire sand stick into blow a piece of that crag blow off a piece of that crag. the stick doesn't come with a fuse or anything so <laughs> you'll have to throw the thing once you've torn a once you've torn the rock a new one bring back some of the fragments and i'll give them a gander okay. you got something too huh Iver, I, Iverant. There is something you should know. I've been keeping an eye, keeping this to myself. East Dive, worse, worse than the Metarot's paranoia. But I, I too have seen the winged eyeball. I cannot say where it was, coincidence, but my sight took place precisely at the same time Medrod's. I was heading home right after a day's a day of digging and when I when shadow fell over me. I looked up and found myself gazed and gazed with a giant eyeball. I let it out a scream at the top of my lungs and ran without notice. I ran without once looking back. This happened at the rock area west of here in case you had mind to escape. Sounds like it's the same rock. long since I've done this. I can hardly remember any of the storylines. So. It's like it's new. I guess it's like it's new again. I think that's... Uh... Okay, yeah. It's... I didn't know if that was an upper level because there is an upper level over here we have to you can go up. Sure I don't get no no up. Take 
speaking of interruption. Buddy invited you for the freeway. This would be on uh, August. All right, Bane Little Land. You sense a hostile presence. Eat some more of those. Yeah, I'm getting to that part of my craftings. Farming them. I do wish I had invisibility in this, um... Uh-oh. Yeah, this one. I knew one of these would be on the top level. Final Fantasy 11 you had where you can uh, use an item or um, you can either use a spell of in invisibility or you could use a, an item that would make you invisible. You could always wait till I get to 50 and come through here. <laughs> that would definitely, definitely do the trick, right? <laughs> I was about to do that. I mean, almost third now. <laughs> like level 23 um, quests. Why not? My other one. Crystal. I'm gonna do you five. Oh well, they said five. There's a uh, fate going on above me.
Wrong way! Those folk are too scared to go within a hundred arms of the Rock of Rancor. I, this has a name. <laughs> yeah, a pretty bad one too. Uh, but that's few. But that's a few vengeful spirits to dauntless ventures like you, eh? Can't say I'm very much like the idea. Huh? Well, these are just your garden variety crystals. It is a bit hard to tell beneath all the dirt and grime. They're definitely lighten, lightening the aspect. I almost hate to say it, but it explains the flashing and moaning. Nothing nothing to do with the masked stranger. Looks like I have gone, wasted both our, both your time and perfectly good fire stick. Oh boy. Oh well. Nice. We've got level 30. That means luck uh we're now. Let's hope your investigation has a better results. A monstrous bane mite. You slew it? That creature had long been a scourge upon folk of Falkhorn. Falkhorn. Potential or no, you have done us a great service and have my gratitude. But this does not but this does make me wonder. Was it truly a winged eyeball I saw, or merely a trick of the light combined with blind panic? <laughs> Lord, <laughs> I'm definitely getting sick. All right, so we're gonna go for gold. All right, Melrod. Melrod the Nimrod. Got any more? What else you got? Our I, there's been no promise, promising leads of the, in the murders. I can scarcely get a wink sleep, knowing that the killer is still at large. Judging by your fertile brow, I take it this business, sorry business, troubles you as much as it does me. I had been pondering it my encounter. I was uncertain for a time, but there can be no doubt. It was a winged eyeball that I witnessed. It's implausible that I could have mistaken so distinct a creature in my bane mite or bane mite. But you and I were arms apart. How could this both seen seen it at precisely the same time? And what's more, our adventure friend here has had run ins with the bane mite at the very spot you claim to see the eyeball. Isn't that right? There must be an expl explanation. I know I saw an eyeball with wings. I would wager an apple tart on it. Oh, he is serious. Listen, but listen, mayhap is not a mystery as we were making it out to be. There's no reason why they couldn't be uh, gods, of course. There must be more than one of the buggers. I would have gotten away with it had had little kids. That there must be even more victims yet undiscovered. Oh boy. I do believe that we're out of our depth. We are to leave the rest of the, to the experts. Yes, we're just civilians after all. Good luck, Venture. It was a pleasure knowing you. Well, how I burned to know the truth, some things are left best unknown. Yeah, at least you have forgotten. It was a rock area, rocky area to the rest that I had my encounter. You should go discover not a note. You will want to alert the authorities. There is a guardhouse nearby. 
serpents there should be pleased for any information that pertains to the security of the room. Hmm. I'm not telling me go tell the cop. Yes, Scooby Doo. I would have gotten away with it had had little kids. I believe I gotta go to the spire at the west of it. Oh. <laughs> Search for a maiden's corpse in the fall court. You have to say this is very interesting. Not, but it's tedious. To Fight, so I'm playing it's really not there. I like these airmen better than the ones the uh, other Final Fantasy that played. They look cool. Let's interact with the body. I I kicked his butt and now I'm riding back on him, right? That's what it is. He has now become my servant. Take me wherever I wish to go. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, um, I found this corpse. Just thought you guys might want it. I didn't do it or anything, but... Greetings, adventurers. Is there not a might assist you with? Gods, be good. Not again. No matter how many bodies I see, I cannot get used to the hard sight of a woman. Identical death has been reported in. While the masked stranger you seek not seem to feature in any sightings of the winged eyeballs are common enough the creatures appear to be moving bodies but that's but to what end I cannot say the victims have been all women all are found with their faces mutilated beyond recognition and difficult to identify them so as to not uh, to notify their next of button right with the Lily Moth, very same object ha was found upon another victim. Family signet, or of an organization, perhaps. By the way, I dare to hope to find it provide a pivoting in solving the murders. Pivotal. Ethermire? Ethermire. 
Quite a name. I would have told I would have hold on to the lily button. Sorry. I would have you hold on to the lily button. You will need it to continue your investigation. Sir. While it isn't standard procedure in trusting key evidence to individuals, you have been proven yourself reliable, resourceful in the matter. I see no reason why sh why you shouldn't carry on your work. If I might make a suggestion, you may wish to take the button into Gradenia and have it examined by uh, I can't I never I can always speak how to pronounce her name. Monet. Mayhap someone her vast network of contacts and shed light upon its signal. True, true. I have someone to know. Meanwhile, back in New Gridania. All right. This is a Caroline canopy. Lord, I got so many quests I gotta do. Not fun. Oh, no. Good evening to you, Mana. By your grim expression, I expect you aren't here for scones and herbal tea. Um, that does sound good, but no. Well, if it this is a lovely button. The engraving is quite exquisite. Artisan level quality, I would say. Where did you find this? On a dead body? Lovely. Anyway, I'm afraid I don't recognize the lily signet. You will have to find answers in the old-fashioned way by asking around. You could do worse than being beginning with Bernanette over at the Etherite Plaza. She has a sharp pair of eyes on that one. Need help tracking down the owner of a button. That's certainly not a request I receive on a regular basis. Oh. Well, go on then. Show me what you have. Hmm. Seems to be some manner of decoration, decorative button. Remnants of those who worn by the families of the old. Though I cannot claim to know the signet, however, I can say with certain. Now, the white lily is a recurrent theme in Gordanian culture. Alas, I do not know who would make a personal signal of it. If there is a soul in Gordana who does, it could be... Padangin? Over at the Lancers Guild? The woman makes a point of knowing all the citizens on a four-name basis. See. Essie, you and your names. <laughs> oh, what? Wow. That is a long trip. Getting a little long winded on this episode. It's a uh, answer again. Where I work. Oops. <laughs> yeah, there she is. Hey, Miss Busybody, <laughs> you know who knows this? Bernadette believes that I can help you. Wow, that's rather a bold assumption to make. I will try to assist whenever I feel. Never you fear, but whether or not it comes as another matter. Now then, what do you require of me? 
Fascinating. The work of this seems to barely seem in the hands of an ordinary Gardanian. The owner of this button is most certainly a well to do. You may wish to search in the gentry's ward northwest of here. Wait. A memory comes to me as of late. There has been a man who is perpetually seated at the bench by the, the ward's entrance. His name is uh, Ursdale. I distinctly recall seeing a mark similar upon the breast of this jacket. I dare say he can tell you a thing or two about it. That helps. More than I had. It's this guy, he's been so northwest. Zandel. I do not believe we are acquainted. Pray leave me to my thoughts. Yeah, have you seen this? The signet of the Dartanus curse. I'm like, uh, how did you come to be in possession of this button? I'm a potty burdened woman. Her face was marred in a way. I had feared as much. I can no longer faint ignorance. I shall reveal to you the truth of the deeds. Uh, truth of the deeds. Deaths, I'm sorry. But only on one condition. Promise to put an end to my lady's madness and free her from her torment. Skeletons in her closet. I was once a manservant employee of the oldest and proudest family in Gardenia, and did no one know what the signet was? The Darten Curse. During that time, I had the honor of waiting upon Lady Modine, mistress of the house, fair as summer as <laughs> fair as summer was she. The possession of the heart befitting her radiance. Alas, the calamity wrought great change in her through my lady's escape with her. Though my lady escaped with her life, death may well have been kinder fate. Never have I, never will I forget the day that her bandages were removed. She be, beheld a disfigured face on the floor. At that moment, the kindly woman I knew ceased. Unable to bear the thought of being seen, my lady sequestered herself within her chambers and refused all company. This continued for many uneasy moons, until the day, without warning, she began receiving weird, weird guests among uh, none among <laughs> began, began receiving queered guests none among us knew whence they came masked men but my but my lady believed they would help her regain that which she had lost and the rights of rejuvenation <laughs> these rituals seemed innocent enough in the beginning and grew ever more grotesque as time went on eventually they came one day with when my lady bound one of her handmaids to her bedside and and proceeded to mutilate the poor girl's face. Suffice it to say, she did not survive the ordeal. It fell to me to dispose of her body. How? I performed the dreadful task as baited. Obedient servant as I was, but when I came to return to the house, my legs refused to move, and I knew then that I could not go back to the place, not after the nightmare I had witnessed. So it, it was that I left Hockey Manor, my home, for not a half a century. Oh. How long did I weep for the girl who was slain? 
and longer still for the woman that my lady Amadine had been. Yet one cannot weep forever, and I shall endeavor to put my matter behind me. Put the matter behind me. I had resolved never to speak of my experience until you appear before me. My lady's madness must be ended. Yes, more, yes, more innocent lives be lost. Lay her torment soul to rest, as you swore to tell me, as you swore to me, you would. The way to you at Hockey Manor, on the western edge of the central shroud. Go now, go and do what must be done. Nice. Uh, Hockey Manor is like one of the favorite dungeons. But we actually get a new dungeon. Day five, right? <laughs> the can't tell if it's um because of the rain or because of the maybe because I'm streaming and maybe because I'm streaming and um playing on this. I can't wait to get over this cold, man. Oh yes, our hero rides in on a mounted sturdy steed. Our hero ride in. Save the day. Uh, doesn't that just that just oozes with two work? <laughs> Righteousness, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, if um bad guys saw you riding in like this, um they'd probably laugh at you. Or they'd probably die of the laughing. Oh I love it though. It's kind of get this is crawling with the eyes too nice almost something like out of a uh, horror movie Weather's kind of uh, even the right atmosphere. Woo. Hmm. 
can now access Hockey Manor. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you like this. And as always, please like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, take care and good night.